Go ahead. And death and evil. Death and evil? Who wants death and evil? Who? But it's in there. God said it before. Yes, sir. And therefore we must make a choice. Yes, sir. Did you get it? Yes, sir. This Man. book here is a book of decisions which bring death and life. And you've got to make a choice. Which, make a choice. Which, which, which you want. I didn't make this up. You ought to thank the Lord. Say, Lord, thank you, Jesus, that the man here is giving us what you say. He, he's not trying to smooth it and trick you and lie to you. <laughs> he ought to be shouting with joy for truth. You ought to be amazed. It's truth. Man, get yeah, us truth, man. This is run people off. People don't want to hear this. But I take a chance. I do what God tell me. If you want to run out, go ahead. It, somebody going to get life. Yes, somebody going to get life. Yes, somebody going to receive life, peace, and happiness, and joy. Yes, sir. God's got a system. He got a reward system, and God will. That's what the whole thing is about. Is a reward system. The world got their system. The world got their system. They'll beat you to death, con you, trick you, tell lies about your home and everything else, and Amen. trick you before you know it. The, folk the, world, the world ain't got nothing for you, baby. Amen. The kingdom. Amen. God's system. Yes, sir. God's system for raising your children. Period. Dot, period. Every ounce of it. God's system for your finances and your wealth. Yes. And God got plenty of it. Yes. You can't break him. Can't break him. I don't ask God for billions where I can bless people and do yes. things and yes. bless folks and give to Nothing like that. Nothing like the joy of giving and sharing and care. Because the word tells me. It's my life joy. Life joy. Give me a billion. Give, God, you can't break it. He ain't running around begging you and begging us. He can pay your tithe and offering now where I can pay the angels. <laughs> well, somebody, I, I got enough money to scrub the gold streets. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how people think. People are foolish. They be thinking crazy stuff. When God does say the cattle of a thousand hills belong to him, all the silver and gold belong to him, the earth and the fullness thereof belong to God. And I want everything God got to give me. I want it. It's good. I want life and the goodness of it. So it's up to you what you want. 19th verse. <clears throat> I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you what? life and death, blessing and cursing. Have you ever, anybody in here, have ever heard? Now, if you did, okay, tell me. Just raise your hand. I'm not going to. You might have. I'll, somebody else is telling somebody. Have ever heard a preacher tell you that? I ain't the only one in the world, but I ask you, have, been, have you ever heard? Book of decision? Book of choice making. Both of them has a, one has a penalty of death, and one has a gift of life. God said it, he can't change it. So what do you want? Therefore, therefore what? Choose life. God wants you to. Yes, sir. Don't think he don't want you to. He wants you to choose life. Yes, now, hold it right there. Choose life, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's go to St. John. Hold it right there. St. John, the sixth chapter. Choose life. Therefore, God is trying to, 
What are you trying to do? He give you the answer to the test. He, he giving you. What are you doing? He's telling you to make the right decision. To yes, make sir. the right decision. He's tell, laying it all out, telling you what the answers are, what the penalties and consequences are, and what the reward system so, is. So what, what is it then? The Obedience. Reward, yes, sir. Obey God. Follow the instructions. Choose the life. Yes, sir. Choose the life. Life is an instruction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He tell you, wives, obey your husband, do so. He mean that. Yes, sir. Yes. You can find any excuse you want to. <laughs> husband, obey your wife, do this for your wife, do so and so, raise your children, do this. So, do. Make any excuse you want to. Because you don't know what you're talking about, God. I, I know best. I know how I feel. But go ahead and feel. feel, feel. You're going to feel in hell, too. You know how it feel in hell too. If you don't reject God in your life. As simple as that. Book of instruction, obedience, or disobedience. Life and death. Nobody ever told you that, did it? Huh? Sister, you ever heard that? Never. Probably won't ever. You people playing games with folks. Got them all joined in churches and thinking they got it. Thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to heaven. You know, people are crazy. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you that. I ain't going to fool you, baby. You leave this world and say, Pastor, I did not. When you stand before God, you say, Pastor, I did not fool us. I made a choice. And you got a choice to make. You ain't never seen me going to jump over you and start hitting you on the head and make you believe something. No, no, no. St. John 6. 6. 63. 63. You got it. Yes, sir. Now, what did, you, what did God say? I set before thee this life day. And life and good and death. Death and evil. Death and evil. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I choose life. Choose life? Yes, sir. Choose life. Okay. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Read. St. John 6, 63. It is. It is. The spirit. The spirit. That quickeneth. You know, you know what quicken means? Quicken means make alive. Quicken you. You're blind, but now you see. I'm not talking about naturally blind. I'm talking about within your inner eye, your inner spirit. You begin to see. You remember the young man that Elijah asked God to let him see all the soldiers around the camp? Yes, and and the, and the man of God prayed and said, God, open his eyes, let him see. Amen. And his eyes, inner eyes open. And when he looked, around the mountain was angelical beings, chariots of fire around the mountain. But he thought he was alone because the enemy was just around camp. He said, we got more with us than is against us. So we got more with us. Don't ever be dismayed. We got more with us. Don't ever be afraid. Don't ever be fearful. Just hear the word of God and stand on it. So watch this. Read. It is the spirit. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Quick, make alive. The flesh. The flesh profit nothing. Profit nothing. See, people living on the flesh stuff. They just living on this stuff here. So all they think stuff, things, what they can see, feel, taste, and smell. The senses. But a born again believer, a child of God has a sixth sense. They have a sense of God. He can see. He can communicate with the high being, the source. Because the natural man can't. So therefore he did around in the world trying to make things happen, try to do this and try to do that and all of that. But the spiritual person who's born again 
He has a six. Ain't nothing magical about it. God don't deal in magic. He don't deal in wim wham, hoo hoo, and all this, and palm reading and all that crap. That's the devil. They're going to hell to give their soul to it. And many people have given their soul to the devil. It's in the book. It's in the Bible. Sold out to the devil. God don't deal like that. It's a spiritual insight to let you see what others cannot see. Read it. The flesh profited nothing. Don't profit a thing. The words. The words. Now listen to this and catch it. Because you're going to hear some words. Isn't the words. That I speak unto that you. That I speak unto you, says Jesus. What? They. They. Are spirit. They are spirit. And they are life. And they are what? Life. So what did the word of God say? And God said, choose what? Choose life. So what that mean? Choose the word to live after. Yes, sir. Because the word is life. Yes, sir. Y'all yes, surprised sir. on yes, that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Choose life. He asked yes, Sandy what to do. Choose life. Therefore, choose life. Because what is life? It's the word. It said word is spirit and spirit life. Spirit and life. Yes, sir. That you choose to follow the word. You, no matter what come or go, what situation you are in, I don't care what situation you're in. Get the word to get out of it. Get the word to fix it. Go to the word. It's in the book somewhere. Call a preacher or something that, that know what they're talking about and let them tell you what and point to the word to fit the situation. Yes, sir. Do y'all understand that? Yes, sir. That both thy, thou and thy seed may thou live. Thou and thy children may live. May live. Thou and thy children. But if you die, the children is too. You don't know why God told you to raise a child up in a way he should go and when he would get old went out to part? Your children are the descendants of you. They, they, they're your seed. If you're crazy nine times ten, you're going to make them crazy. You had a family that curse you, they're going to be cursed on down the line. Generation and generation are under spells, curses, and crazy stuff. When Jesus Christ is ready to deliver you from it all, hear the word, and get life instead of that death you got on you. It meant folk got death on them. Got to get out from none of that. We didn't know that. They've been visited from generation to generation. You got to get out and out of that. You got to get in life. Get all that mess passed and thrown and done away with. 